The first pillar of the Christian Warrior Program is faith. I'm going to read it verbatim. I know it's easier for some people to listen than it is to sit there and read this whole thing. So I'm going to read it out. Faith. So faith, it comes first before all things. Without faith, nothing else matters and you are building your foundation on sand. To build the solid foundation so that you can attain perfect peace in heaven on earth, you must return to the Father. The only way to get to the Father is to go through the Son, Jesus Christ. From John 14, 6 who died for the sins of the world. He paid the debt for our sins, so we may inherit the gift of eternal life through Jesus our Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 In order to return to the Father, you need to repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins in the name of Jesus Christ, and you will receive the teacher within, the Holy Ghost. The baptism in water represents you dying with Christ in the flesh. You have to die to be free from sin. You are then brought up in resurrection with Christ in the Spirit, so that you now live in the Spirit and receive the Holy Ghost, which will teach you all things, and mark you with the seal of God and guide you. Romans 6, 6-14 Do not solely depend on any man to teach you. Ask God for wisdom and discernment. The Holy Ghost will teach you while helping you navigate the scripture and obstacles of this world. This is the promise and inheritance that is for everyone. You can find references in John 14, 6, 16 through 17, and 26. James 1, 5. And going on. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Before starting your day, before embarking on any new endeavor, or during trying times, always seek God first and give him praise and ask for guidance, wisdom, and discernment. The Lord knows your heart and what you need. God does not overlook his children who choose to live in righteousness and honor him. He will know you by your fruits and the content of your heart. Jesus Christ himself said that the two greatest commandments that if men focus on, they will be living a life that all the laws can be hung on. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Matthew 22, 37-40 Once you return to the Father and have the Holy Ghost, your eyes will be open to the truth. And once you have the truth, nobody will ever be able to take that from you. And then from here, I have all my references. I'm obviously not going to read all that out. But yes, it's true. Your faith comes before all things. The book of Joshua is fantastic in telling this. You need to put God first and seek his guidance and approval for, before doing anything. You know, you can try to do, and it's easy to do as a man. We can easily get a big head and get boastful because, you know, we can do things on our own. We think. We think we can do things on our own. We go to work. We can get, you know, good benefits or this or that. So we... It's easy for man to get ego and get a big head and think that he's the one that's providing for all this, for his family, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. None of this is possible without God. God is the one that allows us to get all this. I couldn't have any of this without God. It's what He allows me to receive, you know. And then the more He gives, for much is given, much is required. But your faith comes before everything, and you got to put Him first. You need to be baptized and be born again. You need to receive the Holy Ghost. You need to have that transformation of your heart. And you need to experience God's pure and just honest love. So take that. If you want, you can read this and you can find it on my page. But God bless.